Hi, I'm Maureen Diener West. I'm a professor in the Department of Biostatistics at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. And in this lecture, we'll look at multiple logistic regression. So in terms of an outline, we'll extend simple linear regression to a multiple logistic regression framework. We'll look at a motivating example. And from that, we'll perform a multiple logistic regression with two covariates and interpret them appropriately. And then we'll end with a summary. So just to distinguish, in simple logistic regression, we have one X, one covariate. So we write the log odds of the outcome, which is the log of the probability that Y equals one divided by the probability that Y equals zero as a straight line relationship, beta naught plus beta one times X. However, in multiple logistic regression, we have more than one X, more than one covariate or predictor. And in this case, we write the log odds equals beta naught plus beta one X one all the way through plus beta P X P, where P is the number of covariates. As a motivating example, we'll use the case control study of 120 deaths and 120 living children formed from a community trial of almost 26,000 preschool children in Indonesia that who were randomized to either vitamin A or placebo, meaning no vitamin A. And they were followed for the binary outcome of death by 12 months. Of interest was the question, is there evidence that vitamin A reduces childhood mortality? But suppose that there are other known covariates that might confound the relationship between death and vitamin A status. For example, gender of the, of the child. So just as a reminder, confounding occurs when there is an association between a covariate such as vitamin A status and mortality, as well as a, a relationship between vitamin A status and gender. And if that is the case, then the introduction of gender will um, allow us to see the adjusted relationship between death and vitamin A status. So let's look at just the two by two table of the relationship between vitamin A status and case status, which is dead or alive. Here we can see that the odds ratio of death in the vitamin A group compared to the placebo group is 0.6. This point estimate suggests a reduction of 40% in the odds of death in the vitamin A group as compared to the placebo group. But this is now a new question. Is there an association between death and vitamin A exposure after controlling for the gender of the child? So for this, we need a multiple logistic regression model that has P predictors. In this case, there will be just two predictors, vitamin A status and gender. And we would see that we would write the log odds model as a straight line relationship, beta naught plus beta one X one all the way through beta P times X P. And again, P in this situation will be two covariates. So in the example of having two covariates, X1 and X2, we can determine or define the coefficients for, the, for those covariates. So let's start with looking at beta one. Beta one would be interpreted as the change in log odds when X1 increases by one unit and the value of X2 remains fixed. And when we say remains fixed, it's the same as saying X2 is adjusted for, controlled for. We're looking among individuals who have the same value of X2. So all of these are um, synonyms for the value of X2 remaining fixed. So another way in which we can define beta one is that it's the difference between log odds for two populations that differ in X1 by one unit and have the same value of X2. So let's look at the data setup for this multiple logistic regression using the data from Banda Aceh. 
in this data set, the variables are that the variables are y, the outcome, which is the case or vital status of the child, one equals dead, zero for alive. X1 is vitamin A exposure, one for yes, zero for no. X2 is the sex of the child, one for female, zero for male, which we will label as gender. And the scientific question is, does the odds of death differ by vitamin A status after controlling for gender? So this is a multiple logistic regression model where we write the log odds of death is a straight line relationship beta naught plus beta one X one plus beta two X two. So in this regression model, we model the log odds of the event as a function of predictor variables. And we keep in mind that vitamin A is coded as one if vitamin A zero if placebo and gender is coded as one if a girl, zero if a boy. So the interpretation of our regression coefficients comes from inspecting the model that we see written on this first line. The log odds of death equals beta naught plus beta one vitamin A plus beta two times gender. So when vitamin A is equal to zero, we're looking at the placebo group. When gender is equal to zero, we're looking at boys. So when those are both zero, beta naught by definition is the estimated, well, B naught, the estimate of beta naught, is the estimated log odds of death when the values of vitamin A exposure and gender are both zero. So in other words, it's the estimated log odds of death among placebo treated boys. If we exponentiate B naught, this will give us the odds of death among boys treated by placebo. Beta one is the coefficient for vitamin A. So we know that B one, the estimate, is the estimated difference in the log odds of death between the children treated by vitamin A, where vitamin A is one, and placebo, where vitamin A is zero, controlling for or adjusting for the other covariate of gender. So a difference in log odds of death is a log odds ratio. If we exponentiate B1, we obtain the odds ratio of death comparing vitamin A to placebo children of the same gender, meaning we're fixing the value of gender, we're adjusting for it, we're controlling for it. B2, the estimated coefficient, uh, the estimate of the coefficient beta two, the coefficient for gender, is the difference in the log odds of death between the group of gender coded one, which is girls, and the group coded zero, which is boys, controlling for or adjusting for treatment. In, in other words, vitamin A status. B2 is a log odds ratio. And if we exponentiate B2, it is the odds ratio of death comparing girls to boys who have received the same treatment, meaning treatment is fixed. So just to make sure that we believe that um, this interpretation of beta one is a log odds ratio, we can consider two children, child one who has the outcome Y1, who has a covariate of the value X1, and the second covariate has the value X2. Child two has the outcome Y2. Its value of X1 is increased by one, and it has the same value of the covariate X2. So we can write for child two, the log odds of death equals beta naught plus beta one times X1 plus one plus beta two times X2. Whereas for child one, we would write the log odds of death equals beta naught plus beta one X1 plus beta two X2. If we subtract these two log odds, the beta naughts cancel out, beta one times X1 cancels out, and beta two times X2 cancels out. So we're left 
with a difference in the log odds of death in child two minus the log odds of death in child one, which reduces to beta one. So a difference in log odds is the same as the log of their ratio. But we'll just be explicit here that beta one is the difference in the log odds that corresponds to a unit difference in X one. In this example, the difference between is between X1 equals one, which is vitamin A, and X1 equals zero, which is placebo. So it's the difference in the log odds between those treated by vitamin A and placebo, given that gender is the same. So adjusting for or controlling for gender. And if we exponentiate beta one, we get a well, we get the odds ratio of death in vitamin A versus placebo controlling for gender. We use the same regression statistics we've used for different models in which we can set up a 95% confidence interval for the true beta by taking the estimated beta plus or minus 1.96 times the standard error of the estimate. We can set up a z-test to test that beta equals zero. And that observed Z statistic takes the estimated beta minus zero divided by the standard error. We would reject the null hypothesis if our p-value for this observed Z statistic is less than 0.05. So let's first look at the simple logistic regression models for each of the independent covariates. First, we'll look at vitamin A status. We'll fit the model that the log odds of death equals beta naught plus beta one times vitamin A. We see the coefficients that are estimated here, B1 and B naught. And we would answer the question of what is B1 by saying it's the estimated log odds ratio of death comparing vitamin A to placebo. And we see that value is negative 0.51. The p-value is not statistically significant. It equals 0.052. The way we would get the odds ratio would be by exponentiating negative 5.07 to give us the odds ratio of death comparing vitamin A to placebo. And for the purposes of completeness, we can answer the question, what is B naught? it would be the estimated log odds of death among those treated by placebo. In other words, vitamin A would equal zero. This cancels out and B naught by itself is the log odds of death among those treated by placebo. And that value here is 0.23. Let's also look at the simple logistic regression by gender. So here we would fit the model log odds of death equals beta naught plus beta one times gender. We look down to see the estimated coefficient B1 for gender and the estimated intercept B naught. And to answer the question, what is B1? It would be the difference in the log odds of death between the group coded one, which is girls, and the group coded zero, which is boys. In other words, that difference in log odds is a log odds ratio of death comparing girls to boys. We see that that's estimated by 0.42 and the p-value is 0.115. So there's no statistically significant difference in the log odds of death between girls and boys. And again, for completeness, when gender is equal to zero, Beta one times zero cancels out. Beta naught is the log odds of death among boys. And we would say that B naught is the estimated log odds of death among boys. And that value is negative 0.17. Now what happens if we fit a multiple logistic regression model with both vitamin A and gender? We see the model is now written, the log odds of death equals beta naught plus beta one vitamin A plus beta two times gender. We see in the box the estimated coefficients B1, B2, and the estimated intercept B naught. And our 
our interpretation of these coefficients now is that B1 is the estimated log odds ratio of death comparing vitamin A to placebo controlling for gender, meaning among children of the same gender. That coefficient has a p-value of 0.087, and we would conclude there's no statistically significant difference in the log odds of death between children treated by vitamin A versus placebo after accounting for or adjusting for gender. B2 is the estimated log odds ratio of death comparing girls to boys after adjusting for vitamin A status. And we see that its associated coefficient has a p-value of 0.2, so not statistically significantly different. And when both vitamin A is zero, meaning placebo, and gender is zero, meaning boys, beta naught is the estimated log odds of, it's the estimated um, B naught is the estimated log odds of death among boys who are treated by placebo. And that coefficient is estimated by 0.06. So what are our interpretations here? We saw that the coefficients change slightly um, in this regression in which we account for gender in looking at the adjusted relationship between vitamin A and log odds of death. We would always interpret the multiple logistic regression coefficients as the estimated log odds ratio for a given x1 after adjusting for all of the values of the other covariates in the model if we had p covariates. We would continue using our same interpretations of multiple logistic regression coefficients, associated regression statistics, such as the 95% confidence interval for the adjusted regression coefficient, and as well the z-test to test whether the adjusted coefficient beta is equal to zero. And in the future, we would consider other items such as model selection when you have multiple models with significant covariates, model fit, and model building with more covariates. <laughs>